Now here's the most, to me, tormenting idea of hell. If you get anything tonight, I want you to get this. When you are in hell, you are fully conscious of your life on earth. What's the most disturbing thing about the man in Luke 16 we talked about earlier is that he is fully aware of his life on earth. He's fully aware of the torment, of the torture of his brothers and everything that he had going on, completely aware. And David Wilkerson talks about, if you may maybe have heard this, the worm, have you heard this that constantly turns in Mark 9 48 where it says the worm doesn't die and the fire is never quenched. This is speaking of some type, some type of torment in the mind because you get constant thoughts and flashbacks of your life on earth and all the opportunities you had to serve God yet you chose to reject the cross. In other words, think about this and this to me is the most tormenting part of hell is that you will remember every sermon ever preached. You will remember every opportunity you had to serve God. You'll remember every message you heard about God for all of eternity. You're going to constantly have these tormenting thoughts about what you could have done and what you didn't do. That's the worm. That's the conscience that is turning and you never die. And this is the most tormenting thing this worm that keeps turning and David Wilkerson likens it to like imagine you're in hell and all of a sudden the lights go on and you go from being in hell to lights turning on and you all of a sudden realize you're actually sitting in your living room and you're sitting there in your living room now all of a sudden and your kids are playing in the living room you can hear them screaming they're running out in the backyard your wife is cooking dinner she brings you a cup of coffee and you grab the cup of coffee you fill the warm coffee on your hand and you start freaking out going honey honey I had this horrible nightmare honey I had this terrible nightmare that I was in hell I was being tortured I was in fire you wouldn't believe this oh my gosh please honey tell me that I'm alive tell me that this is real and you start filling your wife you grab her hand I, I is this real I'm I cannot believe I had this nightmare I was in hell and you she goes no honey honey relax you're fine and that worm's turning honey you're fine relax you're not in hell you're at home relax oh thank God I thought I was burning I thought I was in hell man this was crazy and then all of a sudden you're watching on TV someone's preaching and they're just about to give the altar call and you you're sitting on your couch with your coffee and you're all excited and you feel the warmth and the peace of the gospel that's being preached and then at the very end they say okay right now if you want to turn to God and you want to surrender everything right as you're on your couch you're about to surrender you're about to cry out to God you're about to say Lord Jesus save me everything goes black and you realize you're back in hell it was all just that worm turning it was all the torment of going back visualizing going back in vision after vision for a billion years all the chances you had realizing it wasn't a dream you actually are in hell and you beg god please please god don't ever send me back in time. Don't ever let me see that again. Don't ever let the worm turn again. Don't ever let me think of my life on earth again. This is the most tormenting thing. And you're thinking about all the sermons you preach, all the revivals you went to. And then all of a sudden you're sitting there burning, getting tortured and you blink and you're sitting in the back of the church and you're sitting at the church you grew up in and you see the people and you see everyone talking and hanging out and fellowshipping. You see the worship team start and you're sitting where you always sat for years and you're going, Oh, was I dreaming? Is hell real? Was that, was that just a dream? And you're panicking. You're telling me, I, I had a dream. I was in hell. Please tell me it's real life. And everyone assures you this is real life. And you're sitting there and the, the man, man of God preaches the word of God. And you're about to respond. And right as you're about to shout Jesus, everything goes black. You're back in hell, burning again. And this goes on and on and on for a billion years you're hearing altar calls for a billion years you're reminded of the preaching you heard you're reminded of the chances you had like tonight to say god i want to know you i want to turn to you and you have the chance right now as opposed to that time where it's recurring and all you can think about is i would give anything just to be able to get out of this place but the reality is you will never get out of this place because this place is a place that is eternal and the door has already been shut. And you'll hear this message tonight. And this is, this is haunting, I know, but this is how real hell is and I'm not doing justice. You will hear this message tonight for a hundred million years. And then you'll hear this message, Isaiah Salva, you'll be in hell listening to me preach for another hundred million years. And you'll be so, you'll, you'll feel like I'm so, I was so close to grabbing onto the hem of Jesus' garment, but the worm will keep turning and turning and you'll beg for death. You'll beg, you'll try to die, but you'll live in complete darkness. And